Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I'm your host, Rubina Lassaban, aka The Real Astrologer. And this video is for one of my friends. Uh, he asked me to do a video on Kimora Lee Simmons. Well, her last name is Kimora. She's Kimora Lee Lesnar now because she remarried. So she's recently been in the news because of her husband. He has been uh, subpoenaed by the United States Justice Department after they noticed that billions of dollars had disappeared from a Malaysian government wealth fund that was intended on being used to boost the country's economy. So let me just share my screen because I'm going to uh, get into her little bio on Wikipedia. But before I do that, let me just read this article from BET.com. So according to WWD, I don't know what that means, uh, Leisner was subpoenaed by the United States Justice Department after they noticed that billions of dollars had disappeared from a Malaysian government wealth fund that was intended on being used to boost the country's economy. According to WWD, Leisner was subpoenaed by the United States Justice Department. Oh, that's on there twice, sorry. So Leisner's connection to the country was introduced through his past position as chairman of Goldman Sachs Southeast Asia business. So this dude was making bank, but obviously it wasn't enough for him. I, don't, I didn't pull his chart, but maybe I should have. But anyway, this is more so about Kimura. Now, he served in this capacity until 2016 when he left. In addition to that role, he assisted in raising money for the Sovereign Wealth Fund, along with two other men, his fellow Goldman Sachs banker, Robert Ng, and Malaysian businessman, Joe Lowe. The former was arrested in Malaysia earlier this week, and the latter is currently on the run. As for Leisner, he pleaded guilty this past Thursday to conspiracy to launder money and violate foreign anti-bribery laws, as well as bribing officials in both Malaysia and Abu Dhabi. He was ordered to turn over $43.7 million, according to court documents. Ouch. Wow. Back in May of 2017, Kimura, a businesswoman in her own right, clapped back at reports claiming her personal business endeavors are funded by her husband's now-realized messy finances. I fund my own business, she said. I've been in the fashion industry since age 12, modeling and all that. So all my money, not that I want to say it that way, this is my third marriage that I'm on, so no. My husband has nothing to do with my professional life. Now, Kimora's Venus is in Gemini, and that can represent the multiple marriages. So people with Venus in Gemini, if they get married at all, they could get married more than once, and her Venus is at the 24th degree. That 24 represents relationships, so it makes sense that she's been married three times. And this may not be her last marriage. Now. Let me just read a little bit about her bio or uh, read a little bit about her life from Wikipedia before I get into her chart. Now, Kimora Lee Le Leisner, Nee Perkins, formerly Simmons, was born May 4th, 1975, is an American fashion model and fashion designer. She took over Baby Fat after Russell Simmons and was CEO, creative director, through 2010. She had her own reality television shows, Kimura, Life in the Fab Lane, I used to watch that, and Kimura, House of Fab, I never uh, watched that one. Now, Kimura Lee Perkins was born in St. Louis, Missouri. Her mother, Joanne Kyoko Perkins, was born in Korea to a Japanese mother and adopted by a U.S. serviceman during the Korean War and raised in the United States. Now, I bolded that part because that comes into play when it comes to trying to determine uh, Kimura's birth time because her birth time is not listed. So with uh, her being born on May 4th, her moon could either be in the late degrees of Aquarius or the early degrees of Pisces. Now I'm leaning towards her moon being in the early degrees of Pisces because that would speak to her being a model. Also, this part about here, right here, dealing with her mother, where it says she was born in Korea to a Japanese mother and adopted by a U.S. serviceman during the Korean War and raised in, in the United States. Now, if her moon is in Pisces, especially like around two or three degrees of Pisces, 
that would make a lot of sense because that would put Persephone in opposition to her moon. And Persephone can deal with where you are adopted or more like kidnapped. Because when I read U.S. servicemen and she was taken to the United States, I was like, hold up, like, what's that about? And this was during the Korean War. So that, that raised a red flag for me. I was just like, okay, wow. So anyway, if uh, Kimura's moon is in Pisces, that will also put her moon conjoined to uh, Fomohawk, which is a fixed star that can point to, or it can bring lasting honors, fame, and also issues with um, the occult. Like it could deal with her practicing the occult or being into the occult. It can also bring undesirable associates in her life. So that makes a lot of sense considering her husband and also Russell Simmons. And Russell Simmons, he's back in the news because there's been another woman that has come out saying that he basically uh, sexually assaulted her or whatever. I got to do some research on that. So I probably will be doing a video about Russell Simmons soon as well. Now, um, also, if I'm right about her moon being in the early degrees of Pisces, like the second or third degree, that would put the asteroid Atlantis right on her moon. And that can reinforce the issue with her mother, her mother being like a refugee. But it can also bring uh, situations like uh, where there's issues with post-traumatic stress disorder, also paranoia. Also, if her moon is at the second or third degree of Pisces, that would put the asteroid Pandora opposed to the moon. So I was wondering, like, okay, was was the was the mom used as part of some government experiment or something? I wouldn't put it past um I wouldn't put it past the government to do something like that because it's been documented that they have been doing experiments on people for many years. So I'm just wondering if uh, Kimora Lee Simmons' mother was part of like that MK Ultra project or whatever, because that moon opposition Pandora, if her moon is in the early degrees of Pisces, that is very like telling. I'm just saying. So let me just read on. So she later, talking about the mother, worked as an administrator for Social Security. Kimora's father is African American. Her father, Vernon Whitlock Jr., worked as a federal marshal. An equal, an equal Employment Opportunity Commission investigator, a Bell's bondsman, and later became a barber in St. Louis. He was sentenced to prison when Kimora was in grade school for distribution of narcotics. It was substantiated in the U.S. District Court that government agents attempted to recruit Whitlock as an informant in exchange for probation, but he vehemently refused. refused. Consequently, he was refused probation and was taken off his $500,000 bond, and was given the 24-year sentence. He was released after five years. Her parents split up, and she was raised by her mother. So she, her, both of her parents have a questionable past. Now, growing up in the northern St. Louis suburb of Florissant, Missouri, Kimura was the target of schoolyard bullying and teasing because of her height. And you can see her height all up in her chart, which I'm going to get into. She was 5 feet 10 inches tall by the time she was 10 years old and mixed ancestry. To give her confidence because of her height, Simmons' mother enrolled her in a modeling class when she was 11 years old. Two years later, she was discovered by Marie Christine Collop, a representative for Seminole Paris Agency Glamour, at a model search in Kansas City and sent to Paris. Simmons is a graduate of Lutheran North High School in St. Louis, Missouri. So just after her 14th birthday, boom! Boom, that's what I was talking about. Okay, let me just, let me go to our chart right now. But let me just read this because this is very telling and this will show you about how uh, numerology ties into astrology or I'll say even the degrees can point to significant ages, significant numbers in a person's life. Now just uh, stay with me for a minute. So just after her 14th birthday, because I wrote this down in the notes, just after her 14th birthday, Perkins was awarded an exclusive modeling contract with Chanel and went to work under the tutelage of Chanel designer Carl Lagerfeld. 
She quickly gained attention in the fashion world when she closed Lagerfeld's Hot Couture show in 1989. Everything people thought was weird about me before, Perkins told People Weekly, was now good. Now, let's get into her chart. So here's her chart. She was born May 4th, 1975. Her life path is 31-4. Um, her being a double four like that points to her having an unconventional life. And of course, her life was is unconventional because she started working at age 12. Now, the four also points to her being very tall. And also it points to her basically having a sense of entitlement. And if she's been making buku bucks since an early age, that would make a lot of sense that she has this sense of entitlement. Now, like my uh, friend said, he mentioned that her being a double four can uh, point to her being a beer for Russell Simmons, which I agree with. It also points to her having unconventional relationships and relationships of convenience. So with her being a double four, it might be very hard for her to find true love in this lifetime. I'll just say that. Now, her son is at the 13th degree of Taurus. And that right there, let me just get my little flashlight thing, spotlight. So her son is at the 13th degree of Taurus. Again, I don't know what time she was born, but I'm thinking she was born around this time, around five in the evening, because that will put that moon right in Pisces at the second degree and squaring her nodes, which would make a lot of sense considering her life. Now, going back to her son, her son is at the 13th degree of Taurus, and that right there can point to her height again because that breaks down to four. It also reinforces the theme of her having an unconventional life even though she's a Taurus. And basically, the 13th degree of Taurus can produce that tall, statuesque beauty that's perfect for modeling. Now, her modeling career points to, and the fact that it came so early points to her son being in sex sold to Saturn and Cancer. And remember, um, per her bio, it said that she, uh, she won that lucrative contract with Chanel when she was 14. So Saturn is at the 14th degree of Cancer, and it's in sex sold to her son. But it can also show that at 13, she started to make like some serious money. It, so probably at age 13, her modeling career really started to take off and she was getting noticed. And then by age 14, because they said shortly after her 14th birthday, she secured that contract with Chanel. So she started modeling at age 12. By age 13, it looks like she was really established and she was making some decent money. And then bam, once she turned 14, that's when you know she was really prominent in the modeling uh, industry and she was making tons of money. So Sun, Sex, Still, Saturn, and Cancer points to success, especially due to her family support, especially due to her mother in particular, because her mother put her in modeling classes. Also points to her having to, uh, receiving a claim. It reinforces that statuesque image. It points to her being a public figure. And also Sun, Sex, Still, Saturn points to her attracting men of high status, businessmen, successful men, and also older men. Also where uh, she attracts a man that is basically a man of the people and that's dealing with that cancer influence. So just think about Russell Simmons and also this, uh, this third husband that she has where he was basically working on behalf of like, or supposedly working on behalf of these Malaysian uh, citizens or whatever like that. Now, also, that sun sexual Saturn could deal with her being accepted by the black race and being comfortable with her black side because of that cancer influence. And Kimura does have that homegirl down to earth vibe, which is one of the things I do like about her. So she seems like she would be like a cool person to hang out with. Now, her son is also conjoined to Al Mock, and that can bring success and Venusian occupation. So a Venusian occupation could be like beauty, but also modeling, things like that, things that deal with, you know, the arts, also fashion. And this star bestows beauty, artistic ability, popularity, eminence, and it can make her like basically like have a cheerful persona. Also it makes her open to change and where she has a love of amusement. 
Her son is also conjoined to Minkar. And that right there can point to where she is a victim of her own unconscious, where personal demons rise to the surface, but it could be through other people. And this can deal with especially the men that are significant in her life, beginning with her father, but also her husband. Now, this whole men car can be indicative of mind control, you know, MK Ultra type of stuff. And it makes me think about her father who was caught up in the justice system and how he was, um, they tried to have that deal with him or whatever like that. Also, men car can produce throat trouble. And I noticed that years ago, I noticed that Kimura had a thick neck and it looked like she had a thyroid condition. And the reason why I can identify that is because I have a thyroid condition. So it looks like that's what she has as well. So thyroid conditions, especially underactive thyroid, stem from being too focused on the material and being too possessive. And this could stem from past lives. So basically every malady and disease has a spiritual cause. So that's why I'm just throwing that in there. And also this Minkar star can bring disgrace and ruin. And that makes me think about her husband's. I don't know about this second husband she had, but Russell Simmons and this other, this uh, third husband, they both have brought disgrace and ruin upon themselves. Now her son is also running parallels to the fixed star Swallowson, and that could deal with her being naive, especially where men are concerned. Now, let me just read on. Let me see what else. This is very telling. Her self note is at the second degree of Gemini. And that points to her being biracial and also it's conjoined to Mercury. And that makes her prone to immorality because we're talking about past life profile. So in past lives, she could have been rather immoral because Gemini can be rather immoral where they can basically rationalize any type of wicked behavior and where she could be extremely two-faced, duplicitous, and where she could play dumb or ignorant when she's being questioned about things. But make no mistake, with this conjunction, this is someone who has to know everything that is going on. So in my opinion, she knew what was up when it comes to her husband. Also, where her moon being in Pisces, if I'm right about her moon being in Pisces, that would produce someone that can easily look the other way when, you know, someone is doing wrong or when, you know, someone is uh, basically doing something in a deceitful manner or thieving or whatever like that, especially if she's benefiting from it. Now, her south node is conjoined to the fixed star Merfat, and that makes her inclined towards dishonesty. And also, this can point to events affecting large numbers of people, like this billion-dollar money scam. Now, her north node is at the second degree of Sagittarius, and that brings a beam of multiculturalism into view. And also, it makes her a world traveler. And in this lifetime, she's supposed to be truthful. But because her North Node is conjoined to Neptune, it's not easy for her to do so, especially because of the Pisces influence in her chart. So she got Moon in Pisces, in my opinion, and she got Mars in Pisces. Now, Neptune conjunct North Node also points to her modeling career and where she has been photographed and filmed many times. It also brings a strong spiritual component into her life. And it can result in her having quick karma in this lifetime. However, it can also act as insulation from the threat of poverty, also spiritual protection. So I talked about her Venus being at the 24th degree of Gemini, right here. And that right there makes her blessed. So she's blessed in terms of money. And she gets money from different sources. Now, love, money, and relationships is the... uh, main themes of the 24th degree. However, with the 24th degree of Gemini, relationships can come with a dual agenda and where she has partners that live double lives. Also, she attracts partners who have challenges with being fully committed or devoted to her. And relationships are plagued with duplicity and double dealing. Also, this points to the media attention her relationships receive and the reality show that she had with Russell Simmons. Now, her Venus, is in trying to Uranus and Libra, and that's one of her most fortunate aspects. So that points to her taking over that baby fat clothing line 
and how it became a major trend for a minute. So remember those baby fat boots down jackets? So uh, yeah, my daughter had one of those. Now, uh, many benefits through her associations and friendships, that's what Venus trying Uranus can bring, and also where money is gained in unconventional ways, and also points to the ability to remain, to uh, keep finances separate in her marriage. So she definitely is telling the truth when she's saying she has her own money, and it looks like she keeps it separate from her spouse's money. Now, her Venus is conjoined to, wait a minute, not Venus, I think that's the North Node, wrong, hold on. She has Uranus can draw, uh, running parallel to Spica. And that right there can bring wealth, fame, but also protection. And like I said, with someone else that I did a reading on recently, protection from the law. So with that, more than likely, she's going to be okay despite her husband being um, found to have uh, stolen all, the, all this money. Now... Her Venus is also in sexual to Chiron and Aries, and that on again points to that baby fat clothing line, part of what made her extraordinary or exceptional. And it also points to money being gained in unconventional ways as well. And it could also point to where she's in a marriage, but where it's not really your conventional marriage. Her Mars is at the 17th degree of Pisces, and that points to her attracting men who are successful due to that 17th degree. But there's often more than meets the eye with these men. These men have secrets, secret desires. And that 17th degree also points to her becoming a model at such a young age and attracting Russell Simmons. Uh, let me go back to that Wikipedia to see when she got with Russell Simmons, because I believe she was very young. She was 17. And by then, Russell Simmons was, I think he was like in his 30s or something. That's right. She married what's his face, didn't she? Did she want to whom? Wait a minute. Did she marry him? No, they never legally married. So who is the second husband? Did she have a husband before Russell Simmons? Was that what it is? Wait a minute. Let me. I should have read this beforehand. 17, blah, 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 blah. She said she's been married three times. Maybe she's counting Digimon or whatever. How do you pronounce his name? I don't even know. Anyway, so her Mars at the 17th degree is in trying to Saturn and Cancer. And that points to her attracting older men who will cherish her or provide for all her needs. It points to her attracting men of high status. And it points to guys like Leisner with his government connections. Now her Mars runs contra parallel to Hebe, and that right there is kind of really sketchy in my opinion because that looks like she can attract men who are pedos, that's all I'm going to say, or I'll just say who are attracted to underage individuals. Her Jupiter is opposed to Pluto, and that could deal with her having mob ties or criminal ties her basically being around some unsavory individuals and where her growing up in the modeling industry, I would not be surprised. Also, this can manifest as major come-ups in terms of money. Money could be gained in underhanded ways or basically under the table at times. And like I said, her being tied to some corrupt individuals. Also, I feel like she might have been... Um, she might have been passed around when she was in uh, when she was a model as a teen because of this opposition right here. I look at this as her being sold to the highest bidder, and maybe that was Russell Simmons at the time. Now her Saturn is conjoined to the fixed star Sirius, and that can bring ambition, pride, fame, leadership, but it can also bring danger through impe um, impetuosity, meaning where you know she's not thinking things through before. Um, making a decision now saturn is conjoined to cannabis and that points to her traveling as part of her career it also brings uh creativity great glory fame wealth but it can also result in violence and scandals her neptune is conjoined to eurydice and that could deal with her being highly sought after in the uh, modeling industry 
but also where she could have witnessed the death of someone and where she's keeping these the details about the death a secret. It can also point to where um, some type of sacrifice was made. Now, her Pluto in Virgo is running parallel to Pandora, and that can point to Man, that ain't right. Pluto in Libra, I'm sorry, because her Pandora is in Virgo. So her Pluto in Libra is running parallel to Pandora, and that could deal with where she was managing the books for her husband, so she knew like very well what was going on, because Pandora deals with you know secrets that get out, or damning information that can get out, or basically a substance even that if released, it could be harmful. But in her case, I feel like this is about her managing the books, being her husband's accountant, and her knowing all of the dirt. Her Chiron is conjoined to the asteroid Psyche, and because Psyche's at the 25th degree of Aries, that right there can point to sexual abuse that screwed her hair, head up in some type of way. So Kimura, it seems like she's the type that basically has gotten caught up with some corrupt individuals from a very early age, but it seems like it's even stemming back from her own mother, where it just seems like the circumstances surrounding her mother's life are very uh, very suspicious, as well as uh, surrounding her father's life. And then when you think about the type of men that she's gotten with, not really a uh, Dijamon Husu, but Russell Simmons, and then this current guy, the Goldman Sachs vice president or whatever, uh, she does attract some shady individuals. And then, like I said, with that March one in Contra Parallel to Hebe, it does seem like some of the men she attracts could be into underage individuals, whether they're male or female, because with Pisces, anything goes just about. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Now, I plan on going live tonight, so stay tuned for the notification because Jupiter is now in Sagittarius and it is time to turn up so stay tuned i'll be back with the live stream and if you would like a reading you could go to my website at rabina.com let me stop sharing my screen and get out of here because i gotta get ready because i gotta go out tonight no i'm just doing the live stream that's all but i will be back <laughs>